Hello, YouTube. I'm Vinny Badabucci. How you doing? And welcome back to another 20, er, bleh, back to another NHL 21 expansion franchise mode here with the Wisconsin Cheese Curds. And if you're seeing this video, well, then that means that uh, I actually had time to upload it. Like, I actually had, you know, enough time that I uploaded the videos quickly enough to where I could put out more videos before, like, the new games came out and stuff. Um, yeah. And if not, well, then, you know, I'm just doing this video for nothing. I still might upload them, even with, like, new men and stuff or whatever, just until, like, any... I'll probably up... You know, when I thought about it, I should actually upload these until like I don't know like NHL 22 comes out or something I can mix them in there like the last bit of NHL 21 anyways we got lots of draft interviews to do but um well, actually I don't know if I'm gonna do a lot I, okay so I lied but anyways <laughs> um <coughs> what I'm more worried about is re-signing and getting free agents and all that but as far as what the draft goes right so I wanted to show you guys um we got the third overall pick, so that means we should take this guy, Vesta Koivu. He is a defenseman, a defensive defenseman at that. Uh, but we're not going to take him. And I thought about it, and I was like, well, you know, he's, yeah, probably could use him and all that. But I really, we just have anything about, yeah, look at this guy, Stead. Right? Look at this man right here. Come on, show me him. Trevor Wong. If I'm not mistaken, he's like an ex, yeah, he's got his real picture. He's a, yeah, he's a real player. Okay. 18, look at that dude, in 69 games played, he had 21 goals, 50 assists, he's a playmaker, and boy do we need a new center, he has 71 points in 69 games, you know what these prospects, we got shit for points, right, watch, look at this center, never mind, bad one, he did even better, he had 83 points in 66 games, but why the fuck is he gonna be a high top 6 then, oh my god, this guy's a sniper, holy shit, Oh my god. Okay. But no, but no, no. But seriously, though, I really want to take this guy because he's, you know, medium elite. See, like, this guy didn't even score his shit. Um, yeah. And I've already pinned him, so it's like, I want him so somebody else can get him. Or they're, they're also looking at this one, too. Nah. Nah. He's supposed to go number one. I, say, I don't get it sometimes, man, dude. Like, the, the, some of these players, the, their stats are horrible. You know, for, like, these number one overall picks and you go down a little bit and it's like they're fantastic but yet they're gonna go lower I don't understand it but whatever okay first off let me see some progress reports did we did anybody gain anything oh okay is it 84 games play I was like we'd be down to 84 no oh he's an 88 I mean 89 now Patrick Laine is an 88 so he went up one that's good yep so he's an 89 he went up one he went up one Still only 23 medium elite, so he should have more than enough time to grow. Sergeyev's still an 86. Holpi's still an 88. Strom's still an 85. Saro's the same. Did anybody else change? There, no. Nope. Still the same. All the same here. Oh, wait. Daniel Sprung. Yep. Daniel Sprung. Now an 81. Nice. Andrew Kopp went back down to an 80. So did Sam Bennett. Man. Ooh, Ryan Hartman went up one. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Hosing's an 80 now. Wow. Okay. In the system, huh? Jari's still an 83. Goulet. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's all the same. Yep. Yeah, Ellie didn't go up. Quentin Byfield, he's a 77. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. I, I'm kind of wasting a little time here. Didn't mean to. Alright, we'll go to the draft interviews, and, and we'll see what we get. Like, dude, I want to take that guy that got, had like 36 goals or something, but uh, probably not the uh, smartest pick, but let's uh, interview him. Let's interview Trevor Wong, because this is the guy that I want to draft, so let's interview him. He's going to be a medium elite. So, let's see. Uh, we can talk about skills. Let's see. Yeah, it literally says, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for meeting me, or for, yeah, for meeting for an interview. I'm excited potential being drafted by your team well, let's talk about your strengths and weaknesses I know your strengths so I want to know your weaknesses 
okay so it's physical okay what well, i'm not worried about that you're gonna be a center i'm not worried about that i just want you to score a lot of points like that's it really i just need a center that can get some fucking points because i feel like that was the biggest weak spot of our team besides their defensemen playing some whack-ass defense sometimes but most of the time they were able to shut down more this goes to yeah okay so <coughs> yeah i already know about your strengths so that's good um personality let's go with personality yeah how would you describe your personality and he goes professional and I get along with everyone perfect new topic okay um I guess play style although I mean I know what he is he's a playmaker um yeah I know what he does so how ready do you think you are to play in the NHL? About that. To be honest, I feel I need a, at least a few seasons before I really hit my stride and will be competitive in the NHL. I'm dedicated to that goal. Guess the time is up. I like that answer though. See, he ain't lying about it. Being like, oh, I could totally start like right now. You know? I love it. I loved all his answers. Yeah, he's definitely the guy we're drafting. I don't really, I don't need to, I mean, it's cool that they get the, the draft interviews, but honestly, I don't want to take up too much time with it. I want to do the draft, and then I want to really focus on contracts. That's the that's the part I had the most fun at. So, let's advance the day. Like, I'm good. I interviewed the one guy. Oh, yeah, let's edit the trade block. What do we got in here? Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me update this, shall I? Let's go by age. Look, I I love me some Marcus Johansson, but well, he ain't gonna get much trade value. Um, man, look at the value Strom's got though. It's like I'm kind of wondering, should I trade him? But he's like my best center, but it's like, like he's gonna lose value, you know? So it's like maybe I should. Uh, I don't know. I did not mean to go by overall. I meant to go by age. He's done so well, so I hate to put him on there. Ooh, ooh, Zadora. Yes, definitely. Somebody take him. Um. Damn it, I did it again. Okay, age. Let's see here. It's Zadora. Andrew Cup wasn't too bad. Um. I guess I'll go with Johansson. Sorry. Okay, do we get any picks that I'm willing to get rid of? Like, do I got too many picks of a certain one? Okay. This year, please. What is this? I don't understand. Oh, it's like, I guess from the teams that I got. This is all for this year? Got one, two, three, four, five. I got two sevens. Anybody wants it, you can have it. And let's see, goalies. Honestly, I don't know how much Jari's gonna grow. I think I'm gonna go with Saros. Oh yeah, we're paying him too much. All right, we'll put Tristan Jari on the block. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, okay, good. He gave Morel whatever. Okay. Now let me just make a quick savey save, and we'll get right into the draft. So anyways, other than that, um, so, well, now it's, what, July 7th, I believe, is where I'm at currently, so, uh, it's first, you know, NHL video I recorded in a couple days or whatever, I'm not gonna probably record too many of them, but, um, yeah, let's start the entry draft, but, my, uh, Tampa Bay was up 3 nothing over Montreal, wait, 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 oh, we got the fifth pick? Oh, well, then we're supposed Please tell me nobody takes that guy I want. Sim pick. Okay, he took him, which we all thought he was. they were going to anyways. Sim pick. Okay. This is where I get worried now. Whew. Okay, one more. Come on. Why, watch them fucking pick him. You fucking cocksucking bitches, man. Dude, I fucking knew it, man. What did I just say? Of course it was Minnesota that had to fucking pick him. You motherfuckers, man. I swear to God. Now I gotta go and find somebody else. Are you fucking kidding me? Nobody fucking wants this guy, huh? 
Okay, this one's semi-accurate, but this one's completely accurate. Is this the guy that... No, he ain't scored a lot, though. Ugh. No, it's these guys that scored a bunch. Fuck. He's a defenseman. I need a center. I need a center. We're going to draft him. Oh, thank God. He's immediately... Oh, he's a 77. Well, how about that? All right, some to my next pick. Wow, some wow, he's still getting medium elite, huh? Oh, we got a goalie. Nice. What do I need now? I could get another uh, defenseman, another winger, something like that. Are you accurate on anything? Yeah. What is it? What's he got? He's a grinder. Nah. What are you? He ain't no enforcer. Are you accurate on anything? It's unknown. Okay. They're semi-accurate on this guy. Fuck it. We'll try it. Medium top six. Um. Okay. Wasn't the uh, greatest pick, but uh, I can't complain. Medium top six. Low top nine, yeah. Well, how'd he do? Nah. But him? Nah. <sighs> this is a bitch. Were there any gem or bust in here that I could take? He was a bust. Any gems? No, of course, somebody already picked him. Bro, honestly, I'm about, like, just about ready to just let him fucking do it on their own. They can pick whatever. I don't care. I really don't care. <clears throat> I don't even know what CS ranking is. I know SC is scout, but I don't know what the other one is. And that's not what I meant to do. I think we're just going to straight up like go like whatever player they say. Or maybe I should listen to my scouts. I don't know. Yeah, nine goals. And then, uh, I'll go with him. Why not? Ugh, low top nine. Would have been better off with the other guy. But I'm so upset though that I didn't get Trevor Wong. Like I was so looking forward to him. But this other guy though is like ready to start. Kind of like Byfield. So I don't know. I mean, if we could at least pick up like one elite player per draft, or at least one every other draft, we have like a bunch of elite players. So I mean, so far two for two, not too bad. Okay. They're saying he's gonna be medium top 4D. He's a defensive defenseman. We could use one of those. So we're going to pick him. Okay, low top six. He could grow, though. He could grow. I thought about getting a goalie, but I'm like, do I really need another one, though? Not really. I got more than enough goalies. <laughs> you know? So, geez. Um, do we got any more centers available? Like, good centers? Not really, right? With the best stats here. Oh, you guys all suck. Uh, guess I'm going with this guy. It looks like he's going to be a high AHL guy. Oh, he really is an AHL guy. Son of a bitch. All right, you know what? Just sim the entire draft. I really don't care. I don't know anybody that's left. This is a weak-ass class. That's all I got to say. Uh Okay, now we sim to the reassign phase. This is the fun part. Following scouts have expiring contracts in your team. Can I just resign them? And they're gone. And just let the fucking computer do it. Resign phase. You must also tender contract. Blah, blah, blah. You have 13 players that are about to become restricted free agents. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize it was that many. I swear to God, I looked at it earlier in the season. It was only like four or five guys. Now you're telling me it's 13? Okay. Well, all right. Let's do <laughs> Let's do this. Shall we? Let's get a Kraken. Kind of like the Seattle Kraken. Yeah, get it? Because I knuckled it. All right. Anyway. 
All right, let's go straight up right here. Oh, so these guys need to be signed. Wh who'd they get? Oh, that was the guy I drafted. Oh, they got me a 70, so that's not too bad. Bottom six. Better than what I was getting, that's for damn sure. I'm not signing you. Or, or any AHL guys, you are not getting signed. A new, new, new. Okay. Let's go with... Okay, we got three unrestricted free agents. It's Marcus Johansson, Andrew Kopp, and Ryan Hartman. Okay. Johansson, I definitely want back, man. He did really good. Um, oh, Pavel Buchnevich. Okay, a lot of guys I'm not even too sure about signing anymore. Uh. Okay. So all the big names are good, huh? Except for, I think, like UC Saros or something. All right, first off, let's get Pavel Buchnevich signed. That is the most important thing. No, I fucked the RFA. I'm offering him a contract. He's 26. I want him for seven years. That's how confident I am in him. Yep. There you go, my man. I got 17 million left in cap space. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Now, the rest of you. Well, first up, let's go to goalies. We got this guy here, which he's more or less just the AHL guy. He's a medium elite. He'll be an unrestricted free agent that year. Um, hmm. But well, then I wouldn't really need this guy. Well, actually, I need him to play. He didn't grow too much, but uh, we're going to sign him. Yep. We'll uh, sign the rookie contract. And as far as Saros, we definitely want to keep him. Uh, not for six years, though, my dude. How's... Well, he's 26 now? Uh. Uh. I don't know if he's going to want to do just one year. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to sign him with that much. Uh, I, w I mean, would he take one year six, seven, five? Just to see how he works out? I don't know. And, uh, we'll, uh, probably qualify RFA for him, huh? There we go. Okay. Now let's go back to the skaters. Let's see. I believe I got to sign Quentin Byfield, don't I? <clears throat> yes, there he is. Be an unrestricted free agent. Although I could just do this now. I want to do this now because I want him to play. So. <clears throat> I want him playing. And where is my other medium elite that I drafted? Or is he not here yet? Is he not here? Oh, there he is. There he is. Sign him right away, too. Let's do it, man. I get you bolt playing. Let's go. Um, hmm. And I wait with the rest of them, I think. I think the rest of them are fine. <clears throat> Unless, okay, well, this guy's 20. He's only a medium. And he's a bottom six, though. He's only a bottom six. But, give him the chance to play. You know? <clears throat> AHL guys, I'm not even bothering. Like, I'm not signing. I don't think I can release them, though. Right? Yeah, I know. But, I will sign this guy because he's 20. And we want him to get playing. So I'll offer him a contract. He could play for three years with us. If it doesn't turn out right, then we'll get rid of him. This guy's 20 as well, so we'll offer him a contract too. And there you go. <coughs> okay, so still with three unrestricted free agents. Okay. Let's see now. Andrew Kopp. He, he did, yeah, he did pretty good. Right? Wasn't it his, his... He had a career year, right? He sure did. So, he might be able to do more. How do you do in the playoffs again? Eh. But, uh... How about this? I'm not signing you long-term. I know a lot of these guys probably want to go long-term. Oh, you only went two years. 
you got it. You got it, man. Two years is perfect. Uh, Ryan Hartman. He did pretty well for the for the fourth line, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, it was his best year since uh, he was in Chicago in 2017. And got the most goals since he was with Chicago in 2016. No, so, that was funny. That's weird. He, I mean, I was going to say he did go back and forth. Yeah, he went from Chicago to Nashville to Chicago to Philly to Nashville, Minnesota, and now to Wisconsin. So, at least for now, man, you'll have a you'll have a home for now. Yeah, one year that is perfect. Perfect. Did it take away my offer? Oh, it did. He must have not liked it. <clears throat> or was I not sure about him? No, I want to keep... Oh, I didn't offer him one yet. Duh. <clears throat> you want how much? Man, I know you had 15 goals and 45 assists, but you had 14 points in 20 games with but 5 million? I don't know about that, man. I, I think we have to let him walk. He's too he's too old to be getting 5 million. Yeah, I'm sorry. You too old to get 5 mil. Uh, Zadorov, Zadorov, Zadorov. You know, he had 8 points in 44 games. He had 10 and 33 with our AHL team. And judging his past stats was not that good at all. I guess unless you count them both, they had like 18 points in like 77 games, right? But I'll give you one year. You got one year to prove to me. No, you get one year. That's it. That's it. Probably not gonna get a lot of guys, but next year, I you might be seeing some people leaving or whatever. Okay, um, but you're only 20, so I'm going to qualify an RFA for you. Oh, hello, Sam Bennett. Where did you go? Because I got faith in you. You know what? You want two years, you got it. I signed you for two years. Prove me right. Okay, um, Amadeo, we're going to qualify you. Okay. Yeah, Lewis, I'm sorry, you're you're going to have to, we're releasing you. You're only an AHL guy, so you're gone, I'm sorry. Okay. Projected spent. Cap space still 16 million, but that'll probably change once we had some people sign. Okay, he's 23. So, I'm willing to sign... Oh, he only wants one year. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. High top nine. He's 66 overall. That's it. He's already 24 years old. What do you want? How long? Two years? Yeah, it's a cheap price. You can have it. You'll sit 24. He's a 79 overall. What do you want? Two years. How's three? Three, you want a little extra. Huh? All right, fine. Fair brother, he's 20 years old, 67. Overall, I'm sure he wants what? Oh, he only wants a year. Okay. Again, that's fine. And Ryan Donato, 80 overall, 25. He went three years. How's two sound? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, I think we got everybody signed, right? As far as with the guy, yeah, we signed them and. These are all the signed ones. Everybody's good here. Oh man, look at this. Line A and Hall, dude. Hall or Line A, yeah. I got him secured till 25, 26. Fuck yeah, man. Taylor Hall, pretty good too, but I still might trade him I, because I know I can get something really good. Like, like I could get, you know, I might be able to persuade Buffalo to give me like Eichel or something, or or uh, a Dalene, you know, or something like that from them and. I know there's other teams I could persuade them, maybe a Spechnikov or, you know, something like that. I might be able to get something really good with Strom, too. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. As far as all this, this is good. Let me just see if there's any other players, too. The 19, these are all 19. I like to sign them by the time they're at least 20, but I like to try and sign them when they're 19. Um... But as of right now, I don't know if there's any room for you guys. You know what? Yeah, it would beef up our AHL team, which really needs to be beefed up, right? So, he's still got two years. So, he, they, a lot of them do, though. Hmm. 
He doesn't. He's a low top four. Alright, we'll offer him a contract. Give you that. There you go. What you got? Anybody else? Aha, two of them right here. Oh my god, Happy Bullen. Yeah, I remember I signed him. Yeah, I've been excited for him to play. That's right, he's my sniper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Lawrence, too, yeah. Alright, let, let's just leave it at that and let's see where it goes from there. We'll advance the day, see who signs, see how much cap space we got left. Because, you know, I don't want to spend it on all like, these rookies when I don't need to sign them right now. You know? Because if I do that, then it's like, well, what if I run out of money? Andrew Cop, he's staying. Sam Bennett, staying. Oh, okay, so Zadorov, he's staying. Hartman, Saros, Buchnevich, hey. Pavel Buchnevich, man. We got him for another seven years. Donato, Smith, Yulson, Maximilian. <laughs> I don't know how to say his last name. Quentin Byfield, it was an honor to join your team. You won't regret your decision to draft me. Your cash offer was most generous. It was, okay. Whew. That's right, he plays for Sudbury. I was like thinking, at first I seen a different team, and I thought he was like about to leave. And I'm about to be really fucking pissed. And then I remembered, I was like, wait a minute, he plays for Sudbury, duh. Yeah, okay, so it was really quite easy to make up my mind about your offer. Welcome to the NHL, man. Well, maybe not the NHL, but the AHL. That's for sure. Uh, Josh Lawrence, he's staying, or he's going to sign with us. Okay, Fairbrother re-signed. Um, he signed Bartos, Edmonds. Sweet. Yeah, oh, there we go. Happy Bullen. All right. All right, guys. Let's go, man. We're going to be better year. The AHL team's going to be good. I know it. All right, let's save. I was going to say, wait a minute. Marcus Johansson didn't resign. I remembered I didn't because I'm letting him go. That's going to save me $5 million in cap space. Like, I I got to let him go. I have to. I have to. That, that's ridiculous, you know, because, like, what if he falls, you know? What if he doesn't do that good anymore? You know what I mean? So, yeah, no, I'm good. It right, was Booch Nevich I signed for seven years, right? Hell yeah, we got until 2027, 28, man. <laughs> hey, as far as I'm concerned, that's a steal. You know, maybe not a steal because he's not going to really grow too much after this year. But you get the point. I'm just happy. He did such a great job with us. So, um, okay. Not much cap space do I got. Whoa. We're only down to three million? Oh boy. What if I get rid of uh, Johansson? Release him. Why do I still only have three million? I'm sorry you guys are upset that he got released. Okay. Like, I don't know what else to tell you though. Hmm. And let me sign this guy real quick. Because he only... Yeah, this was his last one. So, okay. There. Good now. That, I mean, shouldn't that get rid of 5 million in cap space? Because he was on the team. Alright, cool. Zach Terry's with the team too. Alright. Now let me go to contracts. Let me see what the cap space is. I swear. Oh my god, it's really at 3.7. After I got rid of Johansson, it literally did nothing for this team. Holy shit. Alright. Let's send the free agency, shall we? Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was. Okay, there was a guy I was waiting on. Scouts not renewed. <laughs> okay. Hire staff. Ace. Freaking stupid ass staff. I forgot what I needed now. Oh, there we go. It tells me. I'm missing someone in the AHL. Fine. You? Four years. There. Huh? There you go. Good. I forgot what else I was missing now. Everything else is at two, right? How good is he at north? Oh, he's only a B. I forgot what else I needed. Whatever. <sighs> I have updated our trade block based on a resign. Alright, let me see what you put in there now. Oh, hell no. My two medium elite guys? Are you out of your mind? Bro, get all that shit out of here. Man, what the fuck? So stupid. I think Strom would be really pissed if I put him on the trade block. Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 
Um, if anything, if you want a goalie on the trade block, we're going to add him. And I'll even add Tristan Jari. While he's got some kind of value left. Um, who else did I want? I forgot. Let's go by age. I'm just curious as to what I could get for Strom. I know it's probably going to get people pissy, but whatever. It's like the season's not on right now. And who's saying I'll even trade him, you know? Um, hmm. And we'll go with... I know I just re-signed him. Oh, you know what? Let's go with Zadorov. I know I just re-signed them, but it's like, you know, if I can get something for him, why not? And let's go with... Uh, Ryan Hartman. There we go. Perfect. I know morale's down. Blah, 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 blah. I know 50 contracts. Yada yada. I know how to do this now. <laughs> oh, okay. Sign free agents. Probably again not gonna be able to sign much. You know, I'm kind of building the team within. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, huh? Oh my god, that's right. He's not with Edmonton anymore. Who the fuck did he go to? Son of a bitch. Damn, you know what? I completely forgot. I know Victor Arvidsson got traded. And I think Nugent Hopkins, but I don't remember either team they went to. Hmm. I honestly don't remember. That's bugging the heck out of me now. Well, anyways, though. Um, well, I'll be right back, guys. Apologize. Okay, guys, I am back. Okay. Would it be crazy... If I was to trade Braden Holpe and try to get Tuka Rask. Because I only got 3.75 million left in cap space, right? <coughs> and Tuka Rask is a 90 overall, you know? It's like, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. I think I like Holpe Beast too much. I mean, it's only for a 2 overall. I mean, I like Tuka Rask, but not as much as I like Holpe. So, trying to think. Yeah, there's nobody here that's, like, cheap that I could really get, you know? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Isn't that my guy right there? Zykov? No. Okay. It was a different name. My bad. Uh, What did I want to do? Oh, age. Age, age, age. Joe Thornton? Wow. Even I couldn't afford him. Oh, wait. Yes, I could. That's a thought. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should try and get, like, one veteran player every year. But I want to go by, like, the lowest age and see if there's anybody worth, like, you know, scooping up. Eh. Come on. Okay, can I just... I thought I was on skater. Oh, forwards, please. Just doing forwards right now. These are all bottom six. I don't want no bottom six. Top nine. Eh, they're low top nine. Top nines are like Ryan Hartman and, you know, Sam Bennett and stuff. And it's like, nah. I'm just seeing if there's like any top six guy available, you know. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should go like this, right? By the potential. Duh. Ooh. Nachushkin, huh? Ooh, the Svechnikov brother. Ooh. But aren't they with teams already? Yeah, the Luke Conan. Conan. He's an actual free agent? And he only wants that? What? Well, hold up now, man. I could already picture putting him on the line with Dennis Guriana, Dallas Stars teammates reunite. Okay. Oh, but he's... Oh, he's 26. Hmm. Maybe he shouldn't be a medium top six then. Okay. What about him? Yeah, he's still with Detroit. Okay. He's a free agent. He's 24. Anybody else younger? That's... No? Okay. That's about it, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, Anthony Seu, but he's 26. Who else is 82? Yeah, but he's 26 as well. Son of a bitch. How about him? Danton Heinen, huh? Hmm... Don't really want to spend that much, to be honest. 
<coughs> Ooh. We got some cheap players. What about you? Are you on a team? No. And you? No. I don't know. I thought about it, but eh. I think I'm alright with the players I got. He's the only one that's elite. Ooh, we got two medium top four. He would be better to get. Yeah, much better to get. And he's 25 already, though. And these are all low top fours. Otherwise, I would think about it, but... Nah. Okay. And goalies? Anybody else I could pick up? Medium starters? Hmm. Nah. That's alright. I'm thinking about... Why don't we just straight up, like, get a veteran, right? Get a veteran on our team. Let's uh, go by overall. Obviously, can't get none of the big names because too rich for my blood. Not even Yalmerson. Okay, it depends, though. Wait a minute. How about you? Eh, Bobby Ryan. Eh. How do you do? He did I. Right. Eh. He's I. Not the exact guy I was thinking of. Ilya Kovalchuk, huh? No data to display? So he just doesn't exist in the NHL anymore? Like he never played in the NHL? I guess his whole Atlanta Thrashers career was just wiped right out. Okay. Um. Jeez. It's, it's, it's hard to even take him. Plus he's like 38. Hmm. Paul Stastny. Uh oh. Sanford. Zach Sanford. Medium top six. Only wants 2.6. He's 26. 82 overall. I like it. Oh. Ethanasio. He's also 26. Yeah. And he did alright. But he's cheaper. Hmm. I thought Sanford was like a grinder or something. He's a power forward. How'd he do? Not too bad. Hmm. Actually just came up the best season of his career with St. Louis. He's in Washington? Really? Hmm. Yeah, but see, I, I said a veteran. That's not a veteran, you know? <laughs> Look at Johansson's asking price, dude. He It's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous, man. I'm thinking about Joe Thornton. Right? Because he's 41. You know? I feel bad for him not being on a team. Well, I tell you what. If he's not there by the beginning of the season, we'll sign him. How about that? Okay? That sound good? I, I like that. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do that. Okay? Other than that, dude, I don't really have anybody else to sign. I, I like the team that we got. So, let's send him next season. Alright, cool. Whoever that was, I forgot already. Uh, and here we go with this shit, huh? You give me a third for this year, right? And a fourth for next year. But I gotta give up my third overall pick. What is it? What overall is he, anyway? He's a 59. I just signed him to. He did alright. I like to try my prospects out before I go wheeling and dealing them, you know? <laughs> I'm not the type of person that gets rid of prospects before they even have a chance. Like, they want to take these two guys. No. Decline. No. I'm not giving up my third round pick either. Like, I, as far as I'm concerned, I'd lose that trade. I'd be getting rid of a, a low top four guy for an exact top six. Like, no thank you. Ace. At least let me try my prospects out before I decide if I want to get rid of them or not. My God. Wait a minute. What? Be, like, your third round pick is that fucking important to where I got to give up a fourth and a fifth and a goalie for a third and a seven? Get the fuck out of here. You out of your damn mind. Now, see, this is more like it. You give up two picks. But. Uh, let me see. What overall is he? <sighs> He's an 80. Eh. That's eh, alright. I'm trying to gain cap space, not lose it. <clears throat> I 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We got a Zadorov trade. So I get your third and fifth. But see, I got to give up my third, though. Hmm. Nah, it's all right. I, I promise I give Zadorov another chance. I really don't want to trade anyone, to be honest. I just want to see how this team goes. Like, I'd rather them ask me these trades during the regular season. Because then that way I can evaluate how my player is doing and everything. You know, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm just going to decline all the trades. Unless it's something, like, absurd. Like, roster management. Hey, it's me again. Your boss. Bitch, I don't have a boss. I'm the owner. I created them. I just wanted you to check in to see if you have some kind of plan to deal with RFA. Goalie Samuel. That... You qualified players back in June, and two of them still haven't signed in the past six weeks. Okay. Was I supposed to sign them? No, I thought you'd just kind of leave them. Okay. Oh, in the system, maybe? Well, yeah, there's like it. Oh, I, yeah, I made him an RFA. All right, fine. You know what? Since I'm not going to use the money on anyone in free agency, um, yes, perfect. You can stay with the team another two years. As far as you guys go, um, I mean, you guys are young, so you know, give it another year. Ugh, I don't like. Oh, he's a 58. They're such low overalls. But let me see how the team goes, man. I can always re I can always sign them in the, in the middle of the year or whatever. Um, fine. I'll sign him. He wants a year. That's fine. That's fine. There. Now, can I please sim for the regular season, sir? I love how you, you do owner mode, but yet you still have a boss. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Uh now I'm good. Oh, maybe I should have for that, but okay. Anyways, he accepted, and he accepted. All right, cool. Whoa, that's a lot. What I gotta give up three prospects for two meh picks and a meh player? No thanks. Man, they really try to fleece you in these deals. I'm telling you, man. Well, we sold 95% of our uh, season tickets, so that's really good. No, I'm not going all the way down to being cheap again, but I will put the prices down a Man, nah, I'm going to leave them. <laughs> Hibuchi, I have provided you with extra money for this upcoming season based on the profit you earned last year. I am adding... Wow. Yeah, don't, don't break your bank. Feel free to spend it on anything else. It's like literally like he gave me a nickel and was like, here, don't spend it all in one place. Like, the fuck am I going to do with that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know, like, $127,000 would be a lot to me in real life or to most people. But, like, you know, in, in, with hockey, with a team, it's not. So, what's your owner goals? I swear to God, if he's already, like, I want us to win the Stanley Cup. Okay. Primary goals. I want us to improve our top four defensemen to make a serious contender. Okay. Winning in the road is critical for a good team. Get 22 road wins. I would like us to sell 95% of available season tickets this year. We're already there. So, I should be getting that 40000 by September 13th. Uh, we need more parking for the arena. Upgraded parking lot by one level. Don't already got two parking lots? Ooh. Oh, wait. We can edit lines and set the captains. All right, let's edit lines. This is the part I was looking forward to as well. I got to hurry, though, with this. Dude, Daniel Sprung's an 83 now. I'm sorry. I just now noticed that. Bennett's an 82. Cop still fell back to an 80, but Walmart's an 82. Strom's an 86. Taylor Hall went up to the 89. Oh, Liney's an 89. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, hold up. Yeah, look at this. Look how much better that is, right? Okay. Let's go that... Oh. No? He's like, that's a no-no. Really? Wait, why is Hartman here? Yeah, I don't care whether it makes it minus one or plus one, whatever. Hmm. And as a matter of fact, no. Nope. Wow. Okay. So two snipers and a two-way forward don't work, and two two-way forwards and a sniper don't work. Okay. But 
two snipers and a playmaker do? So I need more playmaking centers. That's the thing. I think what I should do is trade Andrew Cup and Sam Bennett for playmaking defense or centers. I mean, how about our defense? What do we got here? Sergeant has an 86. To, literally nobody went up. Wait, now we got Goulet. Where the fuck's the door off? The fuck? Hope he's still an 88. Saros is still an 84. That's disappointing. What about Jari? Still an 83. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Okay. Now, where's my scratched? Okay, so Hosing and Zadorov are both in 81 now. And yet, they're both benched. Like, the fuck? Okay, hold up. I want to try out Hosing. Can he only do right wing? Yeah, okay. So, we're going to move it like this. And we're going to go like that and go to Joshua Hosing. Yep. Boom, look how much better they made the line. Okay. Now, as far as defensemen, I don't know why Goulet isn't... Dude, Goulet was an... Yeah, he was an 80. He went down three. Holy shit. Okay, but you got... You got to go, man. Because we're putting in Zadorov. He's an 81 now. Like, come on. Okay. Remember, who was better last year? Oh, yeah, it was Dermot, but I said I promised Dunn that he would be on the second line. So he's being on the second line. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Actually, you know what? No, I'd rather have Ethan Bear there. Let me see something. No? You know, they don't like that at all. Like, damn. Ooh, or we could do that. And boom, everybody's happy. Let's just go that way. That way every line is happy. Okay. All right. Can I edit the cap? Yeah, let me set the captains now. <coughs> so Taylor Hall, Captain Strom, alternate, and Sergachev, alternate. And they all seem to really do well in those roles, right? And Line got here late, so I don't want to give it to him yet. And these guys were here, like, straight up from the beginning. So I think we're good there. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Okay. Cool. But I'm going to have to, like, completely, like, I don't got enough time, but we're done for now. But I'm going to edit the lines in the AHL. I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to check it all out and stuff like that. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, can, can we sim to our first preseason game? <coughs> hey. Ooh, Casey Suzuki. Oh, I ain't giving up my second pick. Second round pick. I'm not giving up two second round picks for Furland and the fourth. The fuck? Man, some of these trades, man. These teams be whacked out of their mind. All right. Let me allocate the budget. Well. I put as much. Uh, oh. Yeah. No, not promotions. Um, What did I put the most into? Well, I guess I go arena operations. And then I upgrade everything I can, and then whatever I got left, then I use it on other stuff. So, we'll say budget. Okay, cool. And we're going to save now. So, that will be it. But, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, too, there's not going to be any more games that we're going to be watching. This is going to be strictly a simulation franchise now. This one, and the Washington one, I'm going to try and do as much as I can. Get as many seasons done as I can. Um... But just so you guys know, because I can't edit, I don't know if I'll be able to actually sim an entire season in one year. I mean, not in one year, but it's sim an entire season in one video. That's what I meant. I apologize. Um, just because of no editing, too. And, well, because the fact that, like, before the trade deadline, like, just before the trade deadline, that's where I put it. So that way I can see how everybody's doing and if anybody needs to get the boot. So, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm going to have to go through the roster, the, the lines and all that, but... I'll do that, and I'll probably make another video about this tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Anyways, I was also probably thinking about doing, like, a, a fantasy draft or something. Maybe not a fantasy draft, but, uh, um, yeah, no, a fantasy draft, yeah. I wanted to do that, but we'll see. Anyways, if not, I'll do it in NHL 22 for sure. And when I do an expansion franchise in that, you know, um, I'll make sure that I can do it more. And everything. Ooh, and we'll be able to use Seattle. So I might even just do a, a, a franchise mode with Seattle. That would be really fun to Seattle Kraken. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, you know what to do. Peace out, everyone. Bye.